All right. The last thing that I am going to show you is the sub expressions. So I'm here in the maintenance app. I'm going to go to indicators. And I'm going to just click on an indicator that I had made previously, just to show you what this looks like. So I'm going to scroll down to the numerator. I'm not going to go over how to make an indicator here um, for the sake of time, but I'm just going to go to the numerator. And for those of you who do know how to make indicators, then this hopefully will make a lot of sense to you. And you can see here that I've typed sub expression and then I've, I've nested it within an if statement. And essentially what this is being translated is, it's showing me, um, it's counting all of the facilities or all of the org units in which we have an inpatient malaria cases is greater than 10. And if uh, inpatient malaria cases are greater than 10, then it's going to count a one. And if else, if not, then it's going to count zero. Um, and so in the release notes, we have links to some fairly, fairly thorough documentation on, on this and its limitations. There are some specific limitations here, meaning that the biggest one is that you can only do this for data elements. You cannot do this for indicators. So don't put an indicator in this sub expression, okay? Because it, it won't work. You can't, you can't also do more complex math. You're, um, it's, it's a very simple functionality. Uh, it, it's just one simple logic statement. So um, you, you won't be able to do like addition or multiplication or division within this, ex within this expression. It, it simply won't work right now. We are continuing to explore ways to improve the functionality, expand it, um, there are some potential pathways there, but, but it's not available yet. Um, so in this first release of this functionality, you have to just make it very simple logic statements like is equal to less than, greater than, that kind of thing. 